So right now, we just see basically an empty screen with our relatively empty IDE because at this moment, we do not have any project open. In order to start working, we need to first create a new project and we can do this through the main menu. Just click on File, New, and Project and select the correct Salesforce project that we need and give it some desirable name. Now just press Next and we can see on the screen where we need to enter our credentials. We can go the standard route using some username, password, and security token, or we can use OAuth for authorization. This would allow us to log into the organization without having to save any credentials within the project files. For this case here, let's go with the standard approach. So we'll select the environment. For this example, it will be production. And then we enter our credentials and press next. At this point, the IDE verifies our credentials and seeks information about the different available metadata types from the organization. By default, everything is related to Apex, Visual Force, Lightning, Static Resources, and S Objects will be included into our project. However, if we want to, we can include some additional types of metadata. For example, let's here include some permission sets, layouts, and even a couple custom types. Once this is done, we press Next and Next once more. And now the IDE starts to download the project. And a cool thing here is it does this in a very efficient, optimized way. To do this, the IDE is using multiple threads in order to provide us with the best performance that can be achieved from our Salesforce organization. What this means is that even for very big projects, normally the download will happen within just minutes. So as you can see here, everything is finished, so we can press finish and start to work with the project.